Are you trying to figure out how to shoot vertically with your Insta360 X3? Are you doing the whole cell phone flippy thing? How the heck do you use this thing? I gotta admit, I'm guilty of that too. So today, let me show you guys how to shoot vertically for those perfect social media posts, hitting that Instagram reel, or doing the latest TikTok challenge. Let's dive in. So unfortunately, if you're in the 360 mode, you can't actually change your aspect ratio in camera. You have to use one of the apps, either the desktop app or the phone app. But if you switch to the inner cameras, all you gotta do is hit on that 4K button at the bottom, and then you can change your aspect ratio on the top. And that's actually in effect for both cameras. So if you switch to the outermost camera, you're also in vertical mode again. And if you want to switch back, just make sure you hit the resolution settings again, go to the top and switch back to the aspect ratio you want to shoot in. It's really just that simple. Okay, now let me show you guys my personal settings, my camera settings. I have a couple. I have some that are dedicated to daylight or direct sunlight. And then I have my low light settings and my running gun settings. Now I do use D-Log as my picture profile like 90% of the time. And then I just color grade or edit in post. But I do also like using Vivid for my running gun settings. For my daytime shoots or when I'm in direct sunlight, I keep my ISO at 800 max. So it's an automatic ISO adjustment, but it never goes past 800. And then I keep my shutter at auto, and that's because there's no ND filter. So that's the only way I know of controlling the shutter. 85% of the time, 90% of the time, I do shoot in log. But for run and gun situations, I do use Vivid but most of the time it is long. And then likewise, if I am shooting nighttime shoots, I'll change my resolution to 4K 24 frames per second, but now I'll control my shutter at one over 50th. I'll keep the ISO at 800 max, but I'll tell the camera to control about a half step up just to make sure I have enough light for log. And I do have a custom setting set up for low light so I can quickly access these settings. So that's it, and it's as easy as that. I hope my camera settings help give you guys a starting point, but I do kind of need your help. In the comments below, let me know if you guys found a decent ND filter for this thing. I'm trying to find some good ND filters so that I can shoot more cinematic B-roll or content in direct sunlight, and I'm kind of a slave to the automatic shutter right now. So if you guys have a good recommendation for some ND filters, leave me a comment below. That's basically it, guys. I hope you found this video informative, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody.